It's two days until Christmas, so first off I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And the first point that I am going to talk about is that I have started to understand my disease better and better. And one book that was helpful for me in the beginning was this book. It was really, really helpful for me because it gave me some insight into what this disease is about. It's called Idiopathic Intracranial Hypertension Explained, a guide for patients and families by Dr. Kyle M. Farga. I think he is a brain surgeon, so I think he knows what he's talking about. But this one was super helpful for me in the beginning. So if you just got idiopathic intracranial hypertension and want to know about it, check this book out. Or if you're just curious, check this book out. So the second point that I have on my list is that I have started to read more books. And that's super nice because reading books is just so enjoyable. I don't know why I haven't been doing that so much before, but um, anyway, here's a book that I want to read. It's called Paradise by Abdul Razak Gurna. I haven't read it yet, so um, I have something to look forward to. But like before this year, I read like two books a year and now it's like, I have already read like uh, seven or eight or something like that. And the third point that I have on my list is that I went traveling for three and a half weeks, I think it was this summer with train, didn't fly. But uh, anyway, I traveled uh, down from Northern Sweden to Denmark, Germany, Austria, Slovenia, Croatia, and then over with both Italy and then back home. That was truly amazing. And just so you know it, I'm going to travel with train around Europe next summer also. So uh, it's just super nice to do it. And if you haven't done that kind of backpacking thing, really just get up from your chair and do it because it is so much fun. By the way, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up or leave a comment down below. I appreciate it. So uh, the fourth point is a bit related to the first point. I have felt happier and uh, my mood has been better than last year. So that's, of course, a huge plus for me. I think that my depression was so better than uh, a last year and I haven't had that much of panic attacks and that's just so so nice so that's my my mental health has just been so much better I have been on medication for it and uh, oh, to be to be correct I, I'm still on medication for it but uh, that actually helped me and I have also started to prioritize doing things in life that makes me happier and makes me enjoy life more and that's a mindset that i have been working on and um, that has been super great because in the long run that really really helped me this is the last point that i have on my list i bought a gym card because uh, i wasn't that healthy in the beginning of the year and uh, I realized with my disease and my general health that I needed to do something about it. So I bought a gym card and I have started going to the gym and I have been going out for runs and stuff like that. And it's, it has just been super helpful. For like a year ago, I wasn't able to run one kilometers without stopping and now I can run for like one and a half or two hours continuously if I want to, without stopping. The negative thing about this is that even though I eat better and uh, and exercise more, I don't think that I have like lost any weight. So losing weight is like something that it is maybe difficult for me, but 
I really don't care too much about that because uh, in general my health is better than before. And some people just have more problems losing weight. So I have one more point that I want to talk about that is so, so important for me. And that is, uh, I think that scientific research on brain disorders and uh, my disease in particular is so important because we really don't know that much about the brain. I think we know too little about the brain and uh, this year I decided to donate some money to uh, a research fund on brain disorders that we have here in Sweden. So I donated some money to that and uh, I think that that can help researchers get money to continue doing studies on brain disorders and medications and stuff like that and it it is not just about idiopathic intracranial hypertension for me this is something that is important for everyone that suffers from different uh, neurological diseases like multiple sclerosis or ALS or um, some other disease this is something that can really really help many people and uh, if you're watching this and want to donate some money to a fund do it it just doesn't have to be about uh, neurological diseases it, it can be about something that you care about because it can help so many people and with that said let's end this video